All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the world of H1Z1. This is going to be just me by myself kind of doing a first impressions of H1Z1. Um, if me and my son end up enjoying this game, I would like to make a series of me and my son surviving in this game. I don't know if that's actually going to happen or not. This game has had, unfortunately, a very rough start. It's uh, had extreme lag issues, uh, loot issues. Um, unfortunately, it's just been uh, one of those games that just did not have a very good start to it. Um, so this will be kind of like my first impressions uh, video. So I'll kind of just be messing around playing and kind of talking about the things that I like and dislike, that sort of stuff. I could tell you right now that um, a lot of people are immediately comparing this to ISS, which is Infestation Survivor Stories. Uh, they're comparing it to, obviously, DayZ. And a lot of people are, you know, they're they're going to have their what they like the most, AZ or ISS, that sort of stuff. I mean, me, I was never really, you know, partial to either of the games. You know, I really never had a, a favorite. So, you know, I'm still kind of looking for that go-to zombie survival game. Um, as you guys can see, there's a discovery system. Uh, the things that I've been finding around the world, I can drag into this discovery system and learn recipes. And then you can come to crafting. For example, I just learned how to make a makeshift bow. So now I can craft myself a bow. And then I can craft myself, you know, a couple of arrows. Arrows are very simple to make. You just grab yourself some sticks off any tree, shrub, branch, that sort of stuff. And create yourself. See, watch. I can create. I can grab these uh, sticks here. I can grab these sticks here. And then I can come back to crafting and craft myself some more arrows. Uh, one of the things you got to be wary about in this game, though is right off the bat uh, people come right at you that's you know it's a zombie survival game they're gonna come right at you they're gonna start shooting bows and arrows at you they're gonna start you know uh, swinging on you because there is like a boxing system in this game if you actually physically get into a fight with somebody your character will actually throw left hooks right hooks uppercuts and all that other stuff so the combat system is actually pretty cool uh, the bow is a little hard to shoot it does have a pretty harsh uh, arch trajectory to it but you know it's just like real life um, right off the bat, the graphics are decent. Obviously not, you know, game changing or breaking any of that sort of stuff. I mean, it's okay. Uh, unfortunately, it's nighttime and rainy, like almost in every server I go to, no matter what I do. It's always dark. It's always rainy. Um, the loot system has been broke for quite a long time. I've tried making this video five times now, and just, I just couldn't do it. Every time I've tried to make this video... Um, something always happens whether the server bugs out and crashes or there's just no loot or <clears throat> it puts me in a spawn location that is just out in the middle of absolute nowhere where I just couldn't get anything. Um, I literally spawned near this Costco size supermarket. Like literally no joke. It was like the size of a freaking Costco. Looted, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 boxes, cabinets, you know and found a bottle of water out of the entire place. It was crazy. So if we've actually come across, looks like a factory of some sorts here. Let's see if we can actually come across anything here that's uh, of use. It doesn't look like anything's down here. Um, but, you know, as far as first impressions go, you know, the game, it, it's got a lot of potential. That's for sure. Um, is it going to be a game breaker as far as killing off other survival games? Uh, right in its current state, no. Um, should you guys buy it? It's it's decent. I mean, it's a twenty dollar game, early access. You guys got to remember, it is early access, which means it's going to have bugs. Uh, it's developed and created by Sony Online Entertainment, and they have been actively working on trying to fix um, the bugs and issues with the loot system. I mean, look at this right now. I've looted like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to ten items so far, or objects, and there's nothing here. And I hear somebody walking outside. You can hear footsteps for days in buildings like this. Unfortunately, all I've got is a bow and arrow that I do not know how to shoot very well to defend myself with in case this guy starts to be a you know, starts to come at me all aggressive like.
So we're going to check this other building over here. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. My son and I would actually... Uh, you also got to check shelves. Stuff spawn on shelves. But my son and I were really wanting to uh, possibly... Uh, create a dual survival like father and son style series um, you know so we can play together uh, but unfortunately in games like this it's a very hard thing to do because you've got a lot of factors in it like trying to find each other for one that is one of the hardest things is trying to find each other and then you've got um, what is that I have no idea what that is then you've got factors of, all right, hey, we're getting close. I think we know where we're at. And then you get a bunch of guys that gun you down because it seems like anybody and everybody who gets a gun in this game is trigger happy. So you got to be careful with that. It's just like any other survival game. As soon as anybody gets that little bit of power <clears throat> and find themselves a gun and some ammo, they start killing everybody that they possibly can. Um, but, you know, I mean, for the most part, it's it's got potential. It's uh, it's definitely one of those games that I think that if they can squash out all the bugs and sort out all the issues they're having with server instability, uh, loot issues, like right there, I should have been able to find something. I mean, gosh, give me a can of beans. Give me some water. Give me a hammer. I don't know. Give me something. I mean, you've got this random building sitting there with nothing in it. I'm not asking for sniper rifles and assault rifles and, and body armor. Oh, thank goodness the rain stopped. But, you know, at least start, you know, giving something out. But unfortunately, the loot right now is is very, very scarce. So everything that you're going to see for a while is people walking around with these makeshift bows and arrows. And that's about it. So one of the things that uh, this game also is very known for is your thirst and hunger. You do die of dehydration and starvation very quickly in this game. And one of the remedies to that is to pick the blackberries in the forests. There's hundreds of thousands of blackberries in the forest that you can pick. Uh, you can pick those and actually live off of those. That's kind of what people have been doing because it's so difficult to find food and water in this game that everybody literally just kind of lives in the forests right now. And then they'll go into town and, and, look, and loot as much as they can. So let's search this wrecked sedan. Yeah, I see. Nothing. Let's search this wrecked truck and nothing of course see something like this here you would think that there would be something in here i don't know maybe a backpack maybe a bottle of water but nothing in here is lootable unfortunate so again guys like i said this is my first impressions of it uh, this game is in early access on Steam for $20 if you guys are interested in checking it out. Obviously, the, the devs over at SOE are actively working on it. They're sending tweets out uh, daily um, trying to fix uh, all the issues that I've mentioned already. You know, they're, they're doing their best to try and fix it. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> in my personal opinion, oh, I just really think that this is the sort of stuff that kills games like this. You know, you're going to develop this game. You're going to hype this game as much as everybody has for H1Z1. And then you're going to have this terrible launch where servers weren't even able to get logged into for the first six to ten hours of the launch. They delayed the game four or five hours before it was launched. <clears throat> People get into the game and the servers are disconnecting and crashing. People get into the game and there's airdrops dropping everywhere. And people are just, you know, getting guns right off the bat. Um... You know, there's a lot of factors that I think that either is going to make or break this game. You know, I mean, it's so early. The game's only been out for, what, two days, three days, and it's you can't really pass judgments on a game just yet. But if the, if the game continues to go in its current state and they can't get these bugs squashed with server stabilities, loot issues, uh, all this other stuff, <clears throat> unfortunately, I think that people are just going to go right back to their daisies and infestations and... We're just going to be on that continuous hunt and we're going to be on the prowl for our, um, you know, our survivor. Oh, somebody was popping off arrows over here. Uh, but yeah, we're still going to be on the hunt and on the prowl for our zombie survival game. <clears throat> this one, like I said, it has a lot of potential. 
I just wanted to show you guys off a little bit about it to kind of give you guys a general idea and a general consensus on if this is something that you guys are interested in purchasing and checking out. I might have to revisit it. It's just it's unfortunate that I've looted, I don't know, 40 or 50 containers, you know, in one video and got nothing. I looted an entire Costco of 50 to 100 containers, got nothing. Um... I've, not, I've come across one vehicle in this entire game, <clears throat> and that was because I uh, saw a guy pull into a grocery store, and I jumped in his car and stole it. Because one of the key things that you guys are going to do if you guys play this game and you guys get a car, you guys have to get parts for it. You guys can actually open up the motor compartment and put in spark plugs, the turbo, the battery, you know, that sort of stuff. And if you guys do not have those components, you guys cannot drive the vehicle. And if you guys are driving a vehicle, word of words of wisdom here is when you pull up somewhere that you're going to loot, pull the spark plugs or the battery out of the vehicle. That way somebody does not come up and steal your vehicle from behind you. So it looks like we finally come up to it looks like a gas station or maybe even a hotel. We've got a couple of zombies up here. Let's see if I can. Oh, I hit him in his chest. Just went over him. Okay, that one went through him. There we go. That guy's dead. I would like to have my arrows back, please. See if we can't, uh... Come on. There we go. I love the way that, um... The people fall in this game, like the physics, the ragdoll effects is really, really cool. I like that a lot. <clears throat> That's a really cool feature. All right, so you also got to check these buildings up here really good because, oh, yep. There's a motel right over there, guys. All right. Let's check out this gas station really quick here. Do we have anything in here? Nothing. Nothing back here. Nothing back here. I'm gonna close that door. I don't trust it. Search desk. And would you look at that? Nothing. Search this refrigerator. You would think that, I don't know, maybe a banana, something. I'm going to turn my flashlight off because if there's anybody in the area. And the bathroom contains nothing. Uh, the shelves are completely empty. Absolutely nothing in here. That's unfortunate again. Okay, that guy. Oh, there's a player over there. That guy took two to the chest. That went through him. That went through him too. And he's down. And there's a player over there looting that. So that means I'm going to run over here and start checking this motel. Because there's a player off to my right looting that other gas station. Right about now is when I would really, 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 really like to come across a gun or something, but unfortunately, I don't think that that's ever going to happen. Uh, search cabinets. Nothing. Gosh. Come on, guys. Work with me here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that was close. Search this refrigerator. Oh, my gosh. Search this cabinet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we have got some serious bad luck here, guys. Nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing at all. Alright, let's keep searching these things, because, uh... That's real unfortunate if every one of these hotel places are going to have nothing in it. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, by the way, with the loot system just being out of whack right now. Like, you should, we should have been able to find something in here. Bottles of water, a piece of food, heck, I don't know, a kitchen knife. I don't know, I mean something. I mean, come on. Search the ottoman. Um, I didn't search that in the other one, but I seriously doubt there's going to be the golden item we're looking for in the other ottoman here. I'm not sure where that other guy went. Maybe he's already searched all these. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe he's already looted all this stuff. And that's maybe what we're running, we're running into here. <clears throat> it's the only thing I can come up with as to why we're coming across no loot in these buildings. Yeah, there's just nothing in these buildings at all. All right, let's try searching these wrecked cars. Nothing. Yeah, he's right over there with his flashlight. I see two of them over there. All right. Let's keep searching these houses over here. See, there's a deer over there if in case you guys want to go hunting for venison. But venison, I think you need, like, the campfire. I think you need, like, salt or something like that. You need, like, the components in order to make the food. Well, unfortunately, guys, I don't think we're going to score anything in any of these houses. Which is very, very unfortunate in case we have to defend ourselves against uh, these two guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up my first impressions video here, guys. I hope you guys, uh, you know, don't judge H1Z1 too badly based on its first couple of days of release. Like I said, the game has got a lot of potential. Just unfortunately right now, it is in early release. Just like any other game, it's expected to have bugs. It's expected to have issues. Um, I just feel that they need to squash these things very quickly um, because this game was hyped up a lot and a lot of people were expecting like the next really big, you know, zombie survival game. But unfortunately, I just in this current state, I don't think this is it. So hope you guys enjoyed and my first impressions of H1Z1 and hopefully my son and I can get around to finding each other on a server and maybe we'll get some dual survival going on. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.